Now, an op-ed by Paul Kelly in The Australian has raised the question, will King Charles be the last King of Australia? Because, of course, we know that if Labor wins the next federal election, they're going to push forth with a, a referendum for an Australian republic. Mm. I don't think it is. I, I think, given all the pomp and ceremony, everything we've seen uh, with the coronation and, obviously, everything after the Queen died, I think the monarchy's going through a bit of a resurgence in Australia. And the number one thing that will stop Charles being the next king... or Sorry, the, the, stop him being the last king, is that the next king is William. And William and Kate and those cute little Pitch kids, yeah. can you think of better monarchs that we could have? Seriously. Absolutely not. I think even the most staunch Republicans wouldn't mind seeing these guys sitting on their respective thrones. It is picture perfect. It's what every country is proud of in any of their monarchs. I, I can't wait to see it. Prince Charles, there was a poll done just the other week and only 52% of Australians have a positive view of Prince Charles. But King Charles. King, King Charles, Charles, I apologise. But 73% have a positive view of William yeah. and 76% of Kate. So if, if King Charles is smart, he will have uh, William and Kate beside him and Camilla at every opportunity. Correct. And there'll be a 20 I, I think if he was over. truly smart, he would have abdicated straight up because he is a hard <laughs> sell. He is a hard sell. I mean, we're still trying to galvanise that monarchist backbone of Australians, but he is a hard sell.